everybody. Um, again, welcome to uh, Photo Mallory's uh, photo tutorials page. First off, I thought I'd apologize um, for the glare in my glasses. Uh, shooting on the iMac, so it's a little hard to eliminate the, gra the glare completely. Um, let's see what I can do without bringing it down. That's going to make it a little bit green, but that's okay. Um, just because my background is the green uh, flower things. Anyways, um, video topic for here, for this moment in time, I'm just going to go over some gear because a lot of the time people have a really hard time figuring out what gear they should use, what gear they should buy, um, or if what they even have is good enough. So I'm going to go over a couple of different types of cameras with you. Um, we're going to look at SLRs, we're going to look at film cameras, old format film cameras, um, cell phone cameras, and possibly even point and shoots. I don't have one anymore, so we'll have some fun trying to find some. So anyways, um, we're going to start off uh, with old school film cameras and we'll kind of work our way up. So let's see how this goes. The first type of camera I'm going to show you is, a old, is some old school film cameras. Um, they're still making film cameras, but not in the same uh, depth as they were probably about 10-15 years ago. Digital started becoming really popular in the early 2000s and most photographers started switching. Um, I have a couple film cameras here that I'm going to show you that I still use. Uh, the first one is the oldest, it's from the mid-1950s I believe, and this is a Crystar Flex uh, twin lens reflex camera. You can still do a lot of awesome things with these. Um, twin reflex cameras are old technology, but they produce some really stellar shots. Um, I'll put up some at the end of this segment and you can take a look. Uh, basically how it works is the one lens shoots through the viewfinder so it shows you exactly what you're going to see. The viewfinder is right here. You can actually sort of see my computer screen in it. Okay, so this is going to come through the viewfinder. It's done through mirroring. It's very similar to modern day SLRs. Um, the second lens is the actual one that feeds onto the film. The film for this is huge. It's about as wide as the back of the camera here. Not that expensive anymore, about $7, um, and I believe it's a 12 exposure film. Not finished with this one yet, but when I am, I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like. Um, basically what you've got here is to cock the shutter, and then this is going to release it, and uh, that's how it's going to record onto your film. Um, you can get these cameras for pretty cheap. The Crystal Flex aren't that great. Um, the 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 exposure and things aren't that good on this one anymore and I also have some issues with focusing knob. It's really stiff. Apparently that was a problem with a lot of these so uh, don't necessarily get this one but get one similar. Um, they're probably about 20 bucks on eBay so check it out. Um, the sub second type of film camera I'm going to show you is just your basic sort of film SLR. The definition of SLR is single lens reflex. So what that means is that not only can you take off the lens like you can with this one, which is a pain in the butt to remove. Not only can you take off the lens, but how the camera works itself is a reflex. So basically, a mirror sits down inside of the camera body that reflects the image from the lens into the viewfinder. When you press the shutter button to release it, the mirror moves out of the way and locks itself up. That's how it's a single lens reflex in comparison to a twin lens reflex. Um, so basically that mirror is a really integral part of this camera and it protects the sensor basically from dust or anything, but you're still going to get that on your sensor. It's just, it's just a matter of time. Uh, this is an old Minolta camera. It's actually my uncle's. He's lent it to me for a while. I have a couple lenses with it. Um, right now it's got a roll of black and white film in it. Uh, I've also got a really nice roll of color. Um, sorry, my computer just decided to go to sleep there. And, uh, it isn't automatic focus. Neither of these film cameras are. They're both manual focus. So you've kind of got to figure it out yourself. The twin lens reflex is a lot harder to do that with because it involves you manually focusing and looking through the top of it, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But it's, it's something to think about if you ever want to try experimenting with photography. Um, black and white looks amazing film. It's, it's such a, a classic look. It's the Henry Cartier-Bresson, the the old school, the old school um, fathers of photojournalism, basically, film, black and white, um, beautiful stuff. 
if you do want to experiment, I recommend it. A little bit expensive to develop the film. Not the same as plugging your SLR into your computer or your point and shoot and just getting the images right away, but it's something to look at. So I'm going to show you some pictures taken with, uh, not by me, I haven't developed my roles yet, um, with a twin, twin reflex camera as well as a basic film camera and I'll make sure to get photo credit and check the photographers out because they've got some really interesting stuff. Um, next I want to look at a couple of different SLRs, so uh, see you in a couple minutes.